Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create header animation similar to WhatsApp profile page and also handle it for light and dark modes. But before diving, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now without further delay, let's get started. First, observe this actual animation. We will then try to recreate the same animation using React Native Reanimated. You can see that there are three animations happening simultaneously. First one is image descaling and translation. Second one is header background changing and resizing. And third one is name opacity changing from 0 to 1 and translating a bit. So here I have created the initial design for WhatsApp page without animation and added the header animation to screen to roots tag and linked it with the home page. Alright, let's jump into header animation 2. Here you can see I have added constants. This header is currently transparent. The scroll view contains all the WhatsApp profile content. I have set scroll views bound to false to disable the bouncy effect. In this we have the name of group or person and their details. Next we have horizontal CTS view. Here I have used the map list common component which maps all the array items and provides a view. I have also created all the components that we are using here. Then we have the description tab followed by the thread settings list. And I have defined the list item component here. Finally, we have some other tabs for community and adding inviting members. Now let's add the scroll handler. On scroll equal handle scroll. Now let's create handle scroll function. Const handle scroll equal use animated scroll handler. So we have defined scroll by here which is animated shared value. This function returns the event value scroll by dot value equal event dot content offset dot y. It will store the y offset value each time it changes on scroll. Now first we will animate this image. So when we scroll the image should be scale and translate toward the top left side like this. So first add const translate y equal interpolate value is scroll y dot value input range is 0 to this offset value and and output range is 0 to y value for iOS y value is 54 and for Android it is 45 add transform and here pass translate y all right firstly so the image is moving toward the bottom side add a minus sign here secondly to prevent over translation add extrapolation dot clamp all right now to translate the image toward the left side we need to derive its x position value copy this then change both y's to x Additionally, add as width here, which we get from dimensions. We need its half value, then minus 2 into padding, which is header padding, minus this header button width. Now pass this translate x value here. Alright, it works. Next, we need to descale it. Copy this and change it to scale. Its output range will be from 0 to 0.4. Pass this scale here. Alright, it is descaling, but the image looks bigger. Let's change it to 0.3. Now, perfect. Next, we need to animate this header. Now 
Here you can see we have this title and button in this row. Firstly, we need to descale its height and also interpolate its color. Add background color equal interpolate color. Pass a scroll y dot value here. Input range is 0 to offset value. And output range is BG color, comma, BG color 2. We are using two colors for BG color 1 and two colors for BG color 2. One for dark and one for light mode respectively. Alright. Pass the background color here. Now we will decrease its height. Let's add interpolation for height. Const height equal interpolate. And pass scroll y dot value. Then input range is from 0 to offset value. And for output range, add header initial height equal 130. Now the output range will be header initial height comma header next height. Then add extrapolation dot clamp and return this along with background color. All right, it looks good. Let's check it with light mode. Perfect. Last but not least, we need to animate this name. So in the name animated styles, first add opacity, equal interpolate, scroll y dot value. Input range is 0 to offset value, output range is from 0 to 1 and then add extrapolation dot clamp. Pass opacity here. So initially it is not visible and on scroll we make its opacity to 1. Alright, now look over here. The name is also translating a little bit. Okay, copy this and paste it here and name it translate x and paste one more time and change its name to translate y. Now change both interpolations output range. Pass minus 28 to 0 here. And here pass 28 to 0. Add transform and pass translate x and translate y. The name is visible behind this image. So at offset 100, we will make its opacity 0. Alright, now it's perfect. Let's test it in light mode. Yeah, it looks good. Now test it on Android. For Android, we have to add a status bar. Now check it in dark mode. Alright. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. And for more such type of video, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like the video and hit the bell icon to get notification when I upload a new video. I'll see you in next one. Till then take care and bye bye.